Well, friends, as you know, if you know me at all, I am nothing if not persistent. And unless I am completely unable, I do go back and finish the job. So, I just spent two hours trying to rinse these black walnuts off some more because after watching a few more videos and reading articles, I realized that you have to get as much of the fiber off as you can. Now, as you can see, I didn't get it all off. It certainly doesn't look picture perfect. But on the other hand, I didn't start with picture perfect black walnuts either. I know a lot more now than I did last year. But you can see that I got a fair amount off. And although the water wasn't clear, when it ran off at the end, it, it sure was very, 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 very light. So here, let me get one that looks pretty good so you can kind of see it. Okay, so here's one. Oh my gosh, I'm getting it all over me. Anyway, you can see they have a very rough, rough, rough shell. And um, I didn't wear gloves. So um, I'm going to have fun hands tomorrow. But I like to touch stuff. And um, that's just how I am. This is the bucket that I used to rinse them in. I would put them in and I would turn the hose on real, real strong. And, uh, and rinse them as well as I could. And then pour them through that colander. Then put them back in and pour them and pour them. And I just kept doing that for two hours. So here's what I learned. Pardon me if I'm not making very exciting video while I'm saying this. Pretend it's just my head talking. Here's what I learned. I learned that it's really important to get the walnuts as soon as they fall off the tree when they're still green and whole, but you can make an indent in them with your thumb or your finger. So that's the first thing. Because if you get them in that condition, uh, they're very easy to peel the hull off, all the flesh, and you won't have any of that black of what happens to the inside of the hull when it starts to, I guess, ferment. And um, they'll be a lot, lot, lot easier to clean. Now, there's a couple of different philosophies on how you should prepare them, dry them. Um, my dear husband Johnny, when he lived, he told me after the fact, <laughs> instead of before, but he told me after the fact that when he lived in California and they had black walnuts, they used to just pressure wash them, mesh bags, and hang them up uh, for the nuts to get hard and, and so forth. But the things I've been reading say to do what I'm doing here with 